Hello, my name is Kylon Hurd. This is my story, not a true story. See, this story starts with me, of course, and how I'm moving to the countryside because my dad's side of the family lives in Louisiana. Where the weather is always hot, we get to jump into lakes and ride four wheelers. When we moved there, my mom and dad separated. I went to live with my dad. My brother went to live with my mom. My dad loaded up the stuff in the Utah all truck with all our stuff heading to the new place. Is this really our house? I said with excitement as we drove up in our new house. Yup, my dad said. We saw a huge house. It was like some rich person's house. It was the kind of house I always dreamed of living in. Um, a tall man with a dark beard walked out of the house, said that he was my uncle, and a short lady came out too and said that she was my aunt. My uncle, who may not be my real one, took me on a tour of the house. It was super big and had a lot of rooms. He showed me where I would be sleeping. The room had a bunk bed and was where my grandpa stayed when he came to visit. I was horrified that I would have a roommate. I said I wanted to go home, but my dad said, you know, I know you do, but this is where we have to live for a little while till we get, get on our feet. Are you ready for your big day at your new school tomorrow? He said, I couldn't sleep all night. I was wondering how kids would be and te what teachers would be like. The next morning came and I was excited to go see my new school. My dad dropped me off at the front and said he would see me after school. My school was big, made of bricks. I'd never seen that before and the kids were all over. My home homeroom sat in the desk and I saw my dream girl wore glass and a boy named Blake Smith sat next to me and he was one of the cool kids. He wanted to be my friend. I told him sure, Blake and I butted head a lot, but he was like a brother to me. We did not just about everything. So back to my dream girl, Laura, Laura, uh, and I became best friends. We hung out a lot, but Seventh grade, everything changed. I noticed her and boy came me out a lot. I was not included. Eventually, they started to date, which really took a toll on Blake in my relationship. I was so up upset, and I didn't understand why my friend would betray me that way. I never said anything because I knew that it wouldn't help me. The situation. 30 years later, I'm an adult and I'm married to two kids, son and daughter. I look back on the periods of my life and think it wasn't so bad. It helped to shape my life now. I shared experience with my children. We laughed about when I was in junior high. The end.